Florida City, Florida. The community is mourning the loss of Richardo Sinclair Gathers, who had just turned 30 in January. The grim news of his passing was delivered to his mother early on a Tuesday morning by a detective in southern Miami-Dade County. It is believed that an altercation at the Buzzway in Florida City led to Gethers being fatally shot in the head and upper torso in the vicinity of Northwest 5th Avenue and 16th Street before he could even draw his Beretta pistol found in his mini backpack. The incident, detected by a shot spotter after three rounds were fired around 10.35 p.m., left Gethers lying near his bicycle on the roadway where he was pronounced dead by Miami-Dade fire rescue personnel. Florida City, where an argument leads to deadly gunfire inside of a Miami-Dade transit bus. And local 10 Hatzel Vela joins us live from the scene of that crime with all the latest on the investigation. Hatzel. This tragic event follows closely on the heels of another shooting about a block away on Saturday, where Patrick Smith, 28, shot 25-year-old Martavis Cannon on a northbound public transit bus on the Buzzway near Southwest 328th Street. Smith, who later surrendered and confessed to the act, claimed self-defense and now faces a second-degree murder charge. Before we move on, if you like our channel, please take a moment to like and share. It helps us grow and continue to produce more content. Now back to the show. In light of these events, the Miami Police Department has issued a Seeking Homicide Information flyer featuring Gethers' photograph and is appealing to the public for information. These incidents underscore a broader issue of gun violence plaguing our country, highlighting the dire consequences of easy access to firearms and the escalating disputes that can lead to tragic outcomes. Gun violence not only claims lives prematurely, but also inflicts lasting trauma on communities and families. To address this pervasive issue, it is crucial to advocate for and implement comprehensive strategies that include stricter gun control measures, enhanced background checks, and efforts to promote conflict resolution without resorting to violence. Education on the responsible ownership and handling of firearms coupled with community outreach programs aimed at violence prevention can significantly contribute to curbing this epidemic. It is only through collective action and policy reform that we can hope to reduce the incidence of gun violence and create a safer environment for all. Thanks for watching today on Pure Evil. Subscribe for more chilling stories.